In today's video, I'm going to be comparing five different women's chamois from popular brands. So these little things here we're going to be taking a look at today are referred to as chamois or shorts liners, but basically they are the tight spandexy type shorts with a padded seat area that you can wear some of them on their own, but typically under a pair of baggy shorts for most mountain biking riding. And today's video is sponsored by Competitive Cyclists. All the shorts that we're gonna take a look at today will have links in the description below. So whether you're looking for a new chamois or you're getting ready to invest in your first one, make sure you check out those links below. This video is sponsored by CompetitiveCyclist.com. They have everything you need to support your cycling habit from complete bikes, frames, components, gear, apparel, tools, pretty much everything you need to support this little cycling habit that we all seem to share. And if you use the code DUSTYBETTY15, that will get you 15% off your first order. So don't forget to use that code and don't forget to check out all of these liners and more awesome products from CompetitiveCyclist.com. When you shop for shorts liners or chamois on CompetitiveCyclist.com, they'll do a really good job of laying out a lot of the technical specifications of the different chamois for you. But still, it can be really overwhelming to wade through that and see, you know, how does this chamois really compare to this other one? And that's the problem that we're going to solve in today's video. All the shorts that we're going to take a look at today are not necessarily intended for road biking. These are specifically for the mountain biking application. First, we're going to take a look at the liner made by Shredley. It's called Yoga Cham. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. It's probably some yoga term that I don't know. First of all, they have an extra wide waistband, probably hence the kind of yoga inspired name. Nice, comfortable band. Now these shorts are made entirely out of a nice stretchy mesh material. This gives you a little more movability and also a little bit more breathability. So this is gonna make for a nice, comfortable short. At the bottom, if we take a look at the hem, it's just the folded over material that the short is made from. No additional elastic on these. I'm typically an extra small in most chamois, and I went ahead and got the extra small with a Shredley. I think I probably could have sized up to the small on these though. So the padding on this one ranges in thickness a little bit. You've got really thick material here for your sits bones and a little bit of that in the front as well. But the stuff in between is not quite as thick, so uh, you get that support without an overall super diapery feel. Really nice finishing work on this one too. They did a great job with that. Let's take a look at the Select Liner by Pearl Izumi. So this has a pretty typical waistband for a chamois. It's a wide band of elastic. Um, I like this one because it's not too snug. It's The elastic has a comfortable give to it. These shorts have a solid panel of fabric along the side kind of gives a nice stylistic uh, pattern to the shorts, but they also have a stretchy mesh material across the front and the main panel of the back. This serves two functions. When you have kind of a mesh material like this, obviously it's gonna give you a little more breathability, but also it allows the fibers to be a little bit farther apart, so it gives you a ton more mobility. So even though this has kind of a traditional elastic waistband, this is a very free and movable kind of liner. So um, props to Pearl Izumi. This is a really great design, really great job with textiles. Um, on the inside, this is kind of one of the thicker liners. It has quite a bit of padding. And one thing that I will say that is kind of nice about this, you'll see with some of the other liners, some of them have different lines and things to help I think they're intended to help with breathability, but um, I will say on longer endurance rides, sometimes those lines and grooves can actually make chafing happen. So I think it's nice to have a chamois on the market like this that doesn't have kind of that impressed um, shape that is just a flat, smooth chamois, and we need something like this in the market. So this is kind of a great basic. Around the bottom of the hem, we have this nice supportive, but stretchy material, so there's no added elastic. So this is the Select Short from Pearl Izumi. Next is the Dekine Liner Short, and I knew from past experience that these are a very snug, very compression short type feel, uh, very tight waist elastic, and so I actually decided to size up to a size small on these instead of going with my typical extra small. 
And that's just a personal preference on the size chart. I was right in between, but I decided to size up on these. The elastic that they use on these is one of the less soft stretch ones, I would say. It's a much more firm, much more supportive feeling elastic. And same with uh, the way that they use the material throughout. It is uh, a very, very snug feel. So if you like that kind of compression short feel, then you're gonna absolutely love these. Taking a look at the hem, there's no additional elastic. They've just used this nice, strong stretch material that they've got going throughout. If you turn it to the inside, they've added a little bit of that gel grippy stuff just to help them not roll or come up. One thing to just be aware of if you do size up is it's going to give you a little more crotch depth, which is going to mean it's going to be a higher waisted liner, which is not necessarily a good or a bad thing. It's just a thing. Um, but these, they, they fit pretty dang well and uh, pretty comfortable for me for an elastic waist short. Taking a look at the seated area, this is another one of those ones where they tried to give you the thickest material where you need it the most, sits bones and a little bit in the front support the soft tissue, uh, but they've got a lot of lines to help give you some good breathability and uh, wicking away some of the moisture. Next, we have the Patagonia Nether Bike Short Liner, and they have my favorite kind of waistband, which is these nice yoga top ones. I know that a lot of the people who do endurance stuff are so lean that they love a really snug short with really tight elastic and stuff, but I got a little bit of softness to my body frame, and so I actually enjoy a little more comfort of something more like a yoga style waistband. So that means that it doesn't actually have the elastic. I think they might possibly have a little bit of some kind of tiny elastic in the upper kind of seam, but this wide band is not elastic. It's just the nice stretch material that the rest of the short is made out of. It's a really aesthetically pleasing pattern how it's kind of got the V in the front. Along the bottom hem, it just looks like a normal rolled hem, but if you turn it inside out, they've got a little bit more of an elastic -y material to provide a little more support, but it's very, very movable. This isn't going to be a boa constrictor kind of feeling elastic. Taking a look at the padding, this is the thinnest, most minimal of all of the liners that we've taken a look at today, which I really like and I feel like this is the most practical for me for a day-to-day -day ride when I'm not doing a ton of miles, but I just want a little bit of support. I feel like this is a very, very practical everyday liner um, padding thickness, so I like that they didn't go too overboard on this one. One thing that I was a little bit like meh was I thought that the finishing work around the edge looked a little bit sloppy. Typically you would see the stitching around the very edge of the material. And on these you can see there's a little bit of space between where the seam is and the edge of the fabric. So even though I really love this short overall, I was a little bit disappointed with some of that finishing work. I think if we're gonna pay Patagonia prices, we expect a little more quality in the finish. But the stitching looks really crisp and nice from the outside, which you really want, where these are kind of a bluish gray. Um, you want to make sure that looks tidy, and it does. Last but certainly not least is the Zoic Essential Liner. This was one of the first liners that I ever got for myself, and even to this day I still have a few of these in my closet because they are really comfy. Again, like the Patagonia, it has that really comfortable yoga style waistband with a similar flattering V-shaped waistband. It's just a nice kind of feminine cut to it. Stitched into the top of this waistband is a little bit of an elastic -y material, but it is very movable, very soft stretch, so it doesn't have that boa constrictor feel. This is an extremely comfortable, comfortable chamois. Taking a look at the padded area on the inside of these shorts, you'll see that they have, similar to a couple of the other shorts we've seen today, where they've got thicker foam in the areas where you need it the most, and they bring the profile down in a few other areas just to give it a little more contour, give you the support without making it feel more diapery than it needs to. So I've introduced you to all five of the shorts, but to help you a little more through your shopping experience, I wanna compare some of these shorts to highlight a little bit more of some of the differences. So the first two that I wanna talk about a little bit side by side are the Pearl Izumi and the Shredley ones, because both of these incorporate some stretch mesh into the design. 
So the overall feel and style of the Shredley one is more of a yoga feel. Even though it has a elastic waistband, it's a much, much wider elastic that they've chosen. So they've gone for more of that comfort feel. Now, even though this is kind of a wider elastic that's meant to distribute the stretch over more so that it doesn't feel too snug, it is a stronger, more supportive feeling elastic. The Pearl Izumi is more of a performance style chamois. So I expected to prefer this one, but I actually think that I, for me personally, um, the Pearl Izumi was actually a little more comfortable. I feel like the elastic that they use on the waist for these is a very movable, it's, it's just got the right balance of support and movability. And I also really like the feel of their stretch material. It did a good job of holding you in place and having that performance feel, but when you would actually move, you could feel the movability of the mesh in these shorts. However, if you prefer a wider and more supportive elastic, the Shredley is probably gonna be the better choice for you. The next two that I wanna compare are the Pearl Izumi and the Dekine liners. Now, both of these are more in what I would call the more performance style liners, and I still, again, between the two of these, I prefer the Pearl Izumi because I like a little more movability. I don't like that really tight compression feel. So, so I prefer these. They're my favorite shorts that are kind of more in that performance type field for mountain bike shorts liners. But you might prefer the Dekines if you like more of a super sporty compression short type feel. The Dekine are gonna be more what you're looking for. Now, we're all different. We've all got different bodies. We've all got different preferences, but my two favorites in all of these five shorts are the Patagonia and the Zoic. And I feel like I should really talk about these two side by side because they both have that yoga top style waistband that's a wide fabric band with just a tiny bit of elastic at the top in the hem just to provide a little bit of support. But I like them because they're not too tight, they're very movable, super comfortable. To compare the two, I would, I would remind you that the Patagonia one is a much lower profile padding. So this is a really great choice for just your normal day-to-day -day ride. If you don't want a super thick, diapery feeling foam, the Patagonia is going to be awesome with that. Another thing I like about the Patagonia and Zoic shorts is that they look really cute even on their own. So if sometimes you don't want to wear baggies over the top of your liners, they can stand well on their own as mountain bike shorts. The Zoic Essential liner remains one of my top favorites because it is so comfortable. It's good to keep in mind that it is thicker in the padding, which maybe we don't need every day, but I think the other thing that Zoic really has going for them is how well this liner is priced. So all the liners that we looked at today, they range from about $45 up to $78. The Patagonia one is around $70. So some of these liners are not cheap to get into. This Zoic one comes in under $35, which is insane. So I feel like not only is it a really comfortable liner, yeah, it's a little thicker um, in the seat area, but this is just a good all around accessible to most riders. So if you're just getting into riding and you can only afford one chamois, man, I think this should be the one. I think this is kind of the all around favorite for me um, because of the features and also because of how practical and affordable it is. So there you have it. That is my guide to competitivecyclist.com chamois. I hope that it helps you in your search for the perfect mountain bike shorts liners. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check all the competitivecyclist.com links in the description. You might want to check out some of these other videos you see here too, because if you enjoyed this video, I think you will like these ones too. Thanks for watching. Get dusty.